What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you again. And if this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. I'm glad that you found us here. Last week, I made a video and I titled it, What Your Favorite YouTuber Doesn't Want You To Know. And I truly appreciate everybody who stopped by, who checked out the video and who shared their thoughts in the comments, right? And who subscribed to the channel. I appreciate the support. A lot of people seem to be able to relate to this idea that I shared. A lot of people have seemed to experience in their own YouTube adventures what I was talking about. And if you want to, I'll leave this card here. You can click this and go and watch that video if you haven't. It's not a necessity, but it would be cool that way. Perhaps you're on the same page as everybody else here that's already watched it. and You can discuss it in the comments because I would love to hear more of what you think. Now, when I watched that video back, I realized that there were certain things that I said that I wish I would have elaborated on more, right? That I didn't get the chance to, and that's what I'm taking this opportunity to do right now. Maybe we can go even further, deeper our understanding of the mechanics of this individual. And that video last week was about a particular type of YouTube personality that I've come to know and describe as the charlatan. And the charlatan is a person who presents themselves to be an expert in a certain area of study that they actually know little to nothing about. For all intents and purposes, this person is a con artist, an actor, a performer. And in last week's video, I talked about how YouTube provides the perfect breeding ground for this sort of individual because the charlatan first and foremost is an entertainer and they require a stage and YouTube provides the perfect stage for this person to perform, to be able to pass themselves off as something that they're not. YouTube makes it very easy for people to do this because the charlatan first and foremost is about fame and fortune and gaining the reputation of an expert when they're not. Now, I titled that video, What Your Favorite YouTuber Doesn't Want You To Know For A Reason, right? It's not just any YouTuber, it's what your favorite YouTuber doesn't want you to know, right? And in last week's video, I made a statement. I told you that the charlatan, this is your most popular type of YouTuber. And it kind of sounds like I'm saying that anyone with a certain subscriber count and up is automatically a sellout. But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the better performer, the better actor this person is, the larger audience they will have. So essentially, the better charlatan this person is, the more skilled that they are, the larger audience they will have. Imagine that you're making a movie. You could have the best camera equipment around. You could have the best set, but if you don't have good actors, nobody's showing up to the premiere. No one's watching the movie. It's going to flop without a good actor. And this individual can be dangerous for different reasons, but imagine this, because the charlatan isn't only limited to the YouTube world, but to any industry. Con artists are everywhere, so imagine this. Imagine that you have a terminal illness and you're in a room right now with three doctors and all three of them have different medications that they all claim will work for you. But they have to tell you why. They have to convince you that their medication is the one that you should take. Two of those doctors are actual doctors that have more than, say, 30 years of experience in the field. And the medicine in front of them on the table is the real cure. But our third doctor isn't actually a doctor at all. This is our charlatan, our actor, our performer, our con artist. And what he's selling is only a placebo. It won't help you at all. 95% of the time, you will buy the placebo from our charlatan. Why? 
because this person understands and manipulates human psychology. This person is an expert showman, a salesman. He has the ability to con the audience into a smile and out of a dollar to somehow gain the trust of an individual. And they will believe whatever he says. And these two doctors that are expert doctors that have a real cure, they simply can't compete with the showmanship of our charlatan. They will lose almost every single time. So the charlatan for this reason can be dangerous. But those two doctors in the future after this plays out many, many times may want to actually consider consulting our charlatan and learning how it is that he does this. That way their medicine can get out into the world and actually do good and cure people, right? But the reason why I said your favorite YouTuber is because this person is so good at what they do. Imagine a supervillain from a movie. But this isn't your typical supervillain who gets defeated in the end, no. This person never gets caught. They get away with every single crime that they've ever committed flawlessly. They never, ever see any sort of consequence for their evil deeds. How do you think that they pulled this off? That they were able to live an entire life of crime and never be caught? never even be suspected. The only way that they could do this is by somehow gaining the reputation of a truly great person, of a hero, actually. And as long as they have this reputation with the people, any time a crime is committed, right, this con artist is the last person they will suspect, even though it's been him the entire time behind the scenes, behind the curtains. So you see this sort of magic, the charade, the illusion that this person relies on? Why would they do this, right? Like I said, it's first and foremost, this person is focused on fame and fortune and gaining this reputation. But somewhere along their life, in their life, they discovered that by playing this perfect role of social chameleon, they could not only survive, but thrive in any environment that they find themselves in. This is your typical hustler type of individual, right? Now, this is the idea that I really wanted to talk to you about, this that I'm about to share with you. So I hope that you're ready. We're gonna get deep into this. This is what I want to know your thoughts about. I want to explain to you my thoughts on how this person is able to continue on this career without ever being caught because they're never going away baby these charlatans these frauds they're never going away they're here to stay right but how do they keep people coming back day after day video after video brainwashed hypnotized how is that happening what's actually happening to the viewer that's what i wanted to talk to you about now i've had this experience Right? Recently. I described that to you in the last video. I recently discovered that one of my YouTube favorites is just a showman, just an entertainer. And it almost broke my heart, right? But it taught me a lot. And that's what I'm sharing with you here. Now, this particular person was in the realm of like motivation and inspiration and becoming your greatest version, this sort of idea, right? And I watched these videos because they inspired me. This person was actually able to inspire me to pursue my own goals, right? And to discover what I truly enjoy doing in life. And you might say, well, nothing sounds wrong with that. But don't get confused because inspiration is not always a good thing. It's a powerful thing, but it can be dangerous, right? You can inspire an entire country to go to war and die for a cause that is not even their own. So inspiration is a powerful thing, but it's not always good. It can also be dangerous, right? Now, what I discovered was that inspiration is an actual feeling. Like when I watched this individual's videos, I actually felt something, an emotion, and I could only describe it as inspiration or motivation. And so when I was done watching the video, I had this feeling 
this energy, right? I was energized by the inspiration. That's how I would describe it. And then I was able to take that inspiration, that extra energy and apply it to what I love to do. And you might still say, well, this doesn't sound so bad. Well, just wait, we're, we're, we're getting there. Okay. Now, what I discovered through this process was that I had developed an actual chemical dependency on my favorite YouTuber. See, when I feel inspired, this is the result of a drip, drop, chemical hormone combination dripping down my spinal cord into my nervous system and giving me a feeling. It's dopamine releasing, right? Our pleasure chemical. And subconsciously, I have begun to rely on this person as my source of inspiration as my source of motivation. And this is where it became dangerous, right? This is when we become hypnotized in a trance and just repeat things that we really don't understand when we're in this stage. But I broke out of that, right? And I saw, I witnessed the mind control going on all around me and I broke out of that and I learned something about that. And what I learned is that you and I we can actually supply our own inspiration and it's a thousand times more powerful than the inspiration that your favorite YouTuber can supply you with. And this is truly what your favorite YouTuber doesn't want you to know. That you can create your own inspiration and motivation through your work. See, I can't explain to you, right, why I love making YouTube videos, but I do. And when I sit down like this and I make a YouTube video like this and I feel as if everything goes perfect. I don't even mess up a single word I feel like and I'm proud of the work. I feel like I did something good in the world. I feel accomplished. And in this process, when I'm done with the video, when I push the stop button on that camera, I'm inspired. I'm energized. I truly feel alive. I feel connected in a way to the creative source of the universe, you could call it. And it's so much more real than what I ever got from my favorite YouTuber. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by the channel, sitting here with me and listening to me ramble on about this. Um, I really appreciate it, man. If you're not already, consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, I hope you continue to free your mind.